Hello, and welcome to my lecture regarding geometry and the possibility of purposeful creation. Purpose is defined as the reason for which something is done or created, or for which something exists. Now before we get into this topic, I want to start by explaining that this is not a belief system. I am not asking you to take any subjective leaps of faith. What I'm going to talk about today is completely objective and any of the possible implications that can be drawn from this subject are up to the person reading or listening to this. I'm here to talk about geometry, one of the oldest branches of mathematics that seem to be at the foundation of creation in this reality. It's all around us. From architecture to nature, on earth and in space, even showing up in sound resonance. Let's take a look at some examples of this. The Golden Ratio Mathematicians have studied the Golden Ratio since 300 BC to analyze the proportions of natural objects as well as man-made systems such as financial markets. The Golden Ratio appears in some patterns in nature, including the spiral arrangement of leaves and other plant parts. Here you'll see the Golden Ratio inside a nautilus shell. And inside of a hurricane, within the human form, and within space. So let's look at some other parts of nature. Inside of a sunflower, So here we have a magnet that is seen under a device called a ferrocell. A ferrocell consists of two sheets of glass that have magnetic fluid and oil press between them and are bordered with LED lights. Through this tool or device, we have a three-dimensional physical representation of, a complex of the complex geometry in the foundation of the magnet that otherwise cannot be seen with the naked eye. In this picture, we have a sound resonance, resonance experiment that you'll find on YouTube that basically shows different sound frequencies being sent to sand on top of a plant platform. Now the complexity of the image of the geometry changes based on the sound frequency. Very important, very interesting. Um, all you have to do is type in sound resonance experiment on YouTube and you'll find it. Now here we have a snowflake and how intricate and complex it is. It's absolutely beautiful. And in this next one we have pieces or sorry droplets of water that were stimulated with sound frequency and then frozen. So each different pattern at different frequencies. Very beautiful, very um, amazing. And the same thing here, except the water is not frozen. It's just droplets of water being stimulated with um, sound frequency at 432 hertz and 440 hertz. So in conclusion, we have this extremely intricate and complex mathematical ge geometry all around us that seems to be fundamental to the foundation used in the creation of this material reality. I don't know if this implies divine creation or sacred creation or anything supernatural. Was it intentionally and purposely created? I truly don't know. But for me, knowing that even something as small as an insignificant as a snowflake could have such an intricate and complex structure implies, if nothing else, purpose, at least subjectively. 
I'll leave the implications and sacred part of geometry up to you, and I'll leave you with just geometry and its fundamental existence. Thank you for listening.